Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another slightly 100%-ish achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the very excellent Cruise Brothers. Now this game was developed and published by the very exciting and getting bigger and better all the time team from DCF Studios. Now this game used to cost almost 30 quid but that's been reduced permanently to a mere and very happy for everyone's wallets £3.29. It's like the cost of a Costa coffee, except it doesn't give you the runny poops afterwards, so ah, it's even better! Now, when I say slightly 100%-ish, what I will show you is all the game's missable achievements in just over 10 minutes. That includes the amazing free title update, which can be just completed in 5 minutes, which we'll basically be getting um, done first. Happy days! Now what I will also tell you is the best tips to easily beat the story mode as when we get all the missable achievements out of the way in this video, the remaining 20 or so achievements, well, they're all story related. So I'll give you a few tips on how to just smash through that and you'll get through that in around 4 to 5 hours. So without further ado, let's get a cracking. So like I said, first thing we're going to be doing then is going over to King of the Hill choose fighter versus fighter and what we can do is go over to um, Faust and press the X button and that's going to unlock us the first achievement so there he is Faust looking like if you called him sir or ma'am he will get or she will get annoyed um, and then the next one we're going to go to is in the top left hand corner we're going to go over to Marcus Luz, press the X button again and he is going to turn into the very handsome looking Ryan Johnson who would probably kick my ass in fact every fighter in here would probably kick my ass anyway so what we're going to do press continue then and so to easily win all you're going to be needing to do is keep spamming the A button or keep spamming the X button um, that's basically the way, the best and easiest way to beat the whole game. Uh, but what we're going to be doing then is keep, keep hitting until you see the combo, and you see the combo and damage on the left there. Get your combo up to 20, and that's the first achievement. And we need to do 250 and 500 damage to an opponent. So if you just keep spamming the A button or keep spamming the X button, your opponent never gets a look in. And we will get all of those achievements plus... When we beat old Fausty, old Fausty knickers right here, we will also get the winner fight in the King of the Hill mode. Now, all these achievements here are basically from the free title update, so that is how quick it is. So we've got the um, combo and we've got the damage achievements. We just need to beat Fausty knickers right here again. So again, just keep spamming the A button or keep spamming the X button until the Mohawked leg end. Falls to your knees! <laughs> Man, what a piece of crap! <laughs> We're kicking his ass! Don't you talk about my mother that way! You son of a bitch! Whoa! Uh, quickly, also, another thing, as you see in the bottom left hand corner there, um, as soon as your crown completely fills up, you can press the left trigger and right trigger at the same time. Press the X or A button and it sort of unleashes a special move as well, just to end their days a lot quicker. So, there we go then. We have destroyed those who talk about my mother in such evil ways. So, let us now hit continue. And what we're going to be doing to complete this free title update, we're going to go to challenge mode, which is right next to King of the Hill mode. Choose Big Tucker Dawson, who kind of looks like, just kind of looks like somebody's, um, you know, really pissed off daughter, uh, father even. Then he just kind of look like somebody's really angry father, who is kind of like against fighting, but will do anything what it takes, but is still a bit of a pansy about it. Anyway, all we need to do then is kick this guy's ass. Again, you can either just keep spamming the A button and give him little jabs as I do there. Or, like I said, you can use the down, forward, and X combo, completely spamming that. Either way, you're just going to need to kick this guy's butt for three rounds until the challenge mode is a complete door. Now, I am going to show you all three rounds. You can either wait until the time runs out, or you can kick his butt. Like so. Ah! 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 Whoa, it's ugly! 
ugly out here! Oh. Round two! Fight! Corner wins. By the way, if you haven't got the combos and the damage um, achievements, if you back up your opponent to any corner, i.e. this truck, you can literally just spam the X button right here, and the combos and damage will fly up. Also, remember, in the bottom left-hand corner, when that crown rises up, you can hit the left trigger and right trigger and any button A or X to unleash your power move. But, if you've already kicked his butthole in, yes. That, and, you know, Marcus Lewis kind of looked like, No, I am going to sleep with your daughter. That's fine, because I am cool and you are an old man. Kind of stuff. Anyway, so we've got that one out of the way. And now we can crack on with the missable achievements from the base game. So we're just going to quit out of here, that's fine. So what we need to go to then is Brawl Knight, which is just by career mode there. Use the right bumper to go all the way over to ch uh, 7 Champ, and then click on Ryan Johnson. Now what we need to be doing is basically choosing six different fighters until the achievement unlocks straight away. So we start off with... Marcus Lutz, um, but basically he comes up as Ryan Johnson, so for you, if you didn't unlock the achievement like I done earlier, the achievement will unlock for you right about now, so what we can do then is just go back to the main menu, and then we can go again um, as the next character, so first, like I said, it would have been Ryan Johnson, so go back to Brawl Knight, go back to 7 Champ with the right bumper, choose Ryan Johnson, and now choose... Marcus Lutz. It's very, it's very manly commentary. Yeah, such a manly game. Makes me want to take steroids and eat steak and headbutt the wall. Anyway, um, <laughs> so the achievement, like I said, will unlock. Of course, I'm not going to do steroids, but steak and headbutt the wall seems pretty manly. Red? Mm, red. So there we go. Go back to Brawl Knight, all the way back to number seven. Ryan Johnson once again. And this time you're going to choose Felipe Cruz, who definitely looks like he is. Uh, he should be on Love Island or something, or these days, crappy TikTok, or shit talk as I like to call it. Anyway, that achievement's going to unlock, and we're going to do the same thing. Back to the main menu, back to Brawl Knight, choose Ryan Johnson. Next, we are going to be choosing Igor Cruz, who is third on the top row there, who, who, I mean, I, I, I assume they're all brothers, because they're all ripped, and they all probably look like they've got, you know, 12-inch dongs and stuff, just perfect sculptured body shape, god damn it, hmm, hmm, good. Yep, so, there we go, achievement unlocks anyway, let me just get out of my... My own weird head there for a second. We're going back. <laughs> going back into Brawl Knight. Again, Champ 7, Ryan Johnson. This time we are get, uh, picking Gabriel Ribeiro. Who is left on the bottom row and who definitely looks like he is... You know, you get those types of people that are just extremely proud of your country. The ones that if you said something bad about it, like... Ah, all your women stink and all your men are stupid. You know, I, I'm keeping the insults to a bare minimum here. But he looks like he would literally just um, cut you up for saying something like that. So, anyway, once that's done, we've got one more to play as. Uh, so, again, go back to Brawl Knight. And this time we'll be playing with as Miguel. And Miguel is on the bottom row on the second one. Miguel D. 
again, what can you say? Biceps are looking manly and rugged. Nothing else to say there. But once this achievement unlocks, that should be the last one. And the only one we've got left then is to watch the post credit scene. Stop! So this may have potentially been a bit of a weird one or a bit tricky, but it's fine. So when we're in the main menu, um, choose the right, go right bumper all the way to options. I go all the way down to credits. At the bottom there, see credits. Now it's the credits you can actually skip. Um, we can skip that by pressing the B button or the A button, one of the three, one of the nine. Uh, I think it's the A button. Anyway, press the A button to continue again, and you're going to see this small cutscene. You cannot skip this. You actually have to watch this. Um, it's only about two minutes long, something like that, and I do keep the full thing in here. So watch this, and that will be the last missable achievement that we can get in this game. So I will give you a few tips and hints on how to beat the story just after the cutscene here. In our expectations in the mines throughout this vast continent, we then founded an experimental genetic site at Eridug, our first colony. Experiments were conducted by Genesis and Elohim, our main geneticists. So that is pretty much a very good effort on the Marvel style post cutscene. Also, DCF, if you're listening, get your buns onto this game. That looks really cool. 40 Steps to Valhalla looks <laughs> just looks it just sounds awesome already, so I get your ass on it. Please. Anyway. Here we go then, so all we've got left now then are basically the story related achievements. Now it does look like there's quite a few and it does look like you've got to do certain actions to, to unlock certain achievements, that is literally not the case at all. All you've got to do is just play through the story and career mode to get everything to unlock. Now the only and the best tip I can give you, like I said, like I told you earlier on, all you need to do is keep spamming the down, forward and X button. And you are pretty much guaranteed a win. Obviously, it depends on timing, so it works 90% of the time. Obviously, quite dependent on timing. But if you spam that down, forward, and X button through every match, you should be able to just smash this story and career mode out in around four to four and a half hours. So, that is the best tip that I can give you. You absolutely spam it. It's, an, it's actually quite a, a cheap, cheeky move. But, hey, whatever we got to do to win, we got to do whatever it takes. So anyway, that is that then, guys and gals. So I do hope that this guide has helped you get, well, 1,240 in roughly over 10 minutes. Again, mega appreciate it. Uh, if this guide did help, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to check me out on all my socials as well. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Big shout out to everyone for the constant support on Patreon. I really do appreciate it. But I will see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.